The US has been investing a significant amount of effort in developing anti-missile defense systems. One of these is GMD or ground-based mid-course defense, which is designed with an aim to protect against incoming missiles by engaging them during the mid-course phase of ballistic trajectory flight in space. The system is designed to protect the US mainland. GMD is the only system that's available to the US military which can intercept intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBM. In 2019, America's ground-based interceptor GBI from the ground-based mid-course defense system successfully destroyed an intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM in a test. The US Missile Defense Agency stated, "The test validated a double tap style engagement." where the first interceptor successfully struck the incoming target re-entry vehicle. The second interceptor then looked at the resulting debris and remaining objects and not finding any other re-entry vehicles, selected the next most lethal object it could identify and struck that, precisely as it was designed to do. This was a significant step in the American missile defense endeavor. To mitigate the challenge posed by advanced air defense like GMD, Russia has been developing RS-28 Sarmat, which is a thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missile that's designed to evade and saturate enemies' missile defense systems. But all land-based ICBM, including Sarmat, is vulnerable to a first strike when it's in stationary position inside its silo and is not yet launched. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Russia plans to protect its most powerful weapon RS-28 Sarmat from America. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The RS-28 Sarmat is a Russian liquid-fueled MIRV or Multiple Independent Reentry Vehicle equipped ICBM under development by the Makayev Rocket Design Bureau since 2009. It's intended to replace the R-36M ICBM, which is also known as Satan. Sarmat uses liquid propellant, the exact nature of which is classified. It weighs in at a massive 100 tons, making it the heaviest missile in the world. To give viewers a perspective, the American Minuteman III weighs 35 tons approximately. According to some estimates, the missile's striking range is about 18,000 kilometers or 11,184.6 miles. It also has a payload capability for 10 to 15 warheads, each with a capacity of up to 750 kilotons. These estimates make it the most destructive weapon on Earth. To give viewers a perspective, Little Boy atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima had a yield of 15 kilotons of TNT. Sarmat's cumulative explosive power will be 15 warheads multiplied by 750 kilotons. That's around 11,000 kilotons of TNT. The Russian news outlet Sputnik reported some time back that Sarmat is capable of wiping out parts of the Earth the size of France or Texas. And by these figures, it seems that the analysis is correct. The missile's preparation to launch is under 60 seconds, utilizing a highly automated launch system. The missile's payload capacity will also enable it to carry up to three Avangard hypersonic glide vehicles HGVs, instead of regular nuclear warheads. Viewers may note that, as per Russian military, Avangard has been recently deployed. To know more on Avangard, check the video on the above card. Sarmat will also have countermeasures designed to defeat anti-missile systems, which include dummy warheads. On the 30th of March 2018, the Russian Defense Ministry published a video showing the Sarmat 
performing its second successful test launch at the Plesetsk Cosmodrome. Sarmat will be operationally deployed by 2021. Most developed countries, especially the US, have a large number of military satellites that are constantly scanning for possible launch sites of ICBMs. It's likely that most silo-based launch sites of big missiles like Sarmat will be geotagged by the US military. Though these missile silos are heavily reinforced and built to withstand attacks, a heavy preemptive strike could potentially take these out, destroying the missiles in the ground. This is why ballistic missile submarines armed with SLBM or submarine-launched ballistic missiles are considered to be the most survivable part of the nuclear triad, unlike the land-based ICBMs. For this reason, strategic missiles have been dispersed across land and under sea by military advanced nations like Russia, the US, and China. For example, the 14 ballistic missile submarines of Ohio class together carry approximately 50% of the total U.S. active inventory of strategic thermonuclear warheads. Keeping the threat in perspective, Russian experts are going to great lengths to shield Sarmat from a preemptive first strike by the U.S. As per reports, the Sarmat missile complexes will be protected by the S-500 air defense system and Mosir active protection system. S-400 is considered to be the most lethal operational air defense system in the world. S-500 takes it to the next level, improving on all major parameters. S-500 has an engagement range of 600 kilometers or about 372 miles as compared to 400 kilometers or about 250 miles for the S-400. While S-400 missile uses hit-to-kill approach and conventional warhead, S-500 missiles will also have a nuclear warhead that can take out a bunch of threats with one shot. Like S-400, S-500 will field different types of missiles to neutralize different kinds of threats. Same as S-400, the S-500 will use multiple radars for target detection and tracking. The radars are expected to be more powerful and have many features specifically designed to overcome countermeasures and stealth. Russia claims that the missile system will be able to take out stealth warplanes like the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II. While the S-400 is designed to defend against short- and medium-range missiles, the S-500 is being designed to combat even intercontinental ballistic missiles. The principle of CAS operation is based on the defeat of air targets by metal balls with a diameter of up to 30 millimeters at an altitude of up to 6 kilometers or 3.7 miles. In early December 2012, the source of the newspaper Izvestia in the military department said that charges with 40,000 metal balls will be fired at the target with an initial speed of up to 1,800 meters per second, which will create after the blast at a certain height an iron cloud capable of destroying any air target. Mosier active defense complexes are planned to be used primarily to cover strategic objects, command posts, communication centers, as well as launch silos of Sarmat. The complex will be the last layer of missile defense and will be activated if incoming threat manages to get past S-500. The CAS includes radar detection and guidance systems as well as special artillery units. Mosier active defense complexes will have 80 to 100 barrels and fire simultaneously to create a dense metal cloud, which is virtually impossible to get through. As per sources, even the most well-designed enemy's warhead will be destroyed at a distance of up to a thousand meters short of the protected asset. Missile defense is one of the most technologically challenging quests. It's like hitting a bullet with another bullet. On the surface, it looks like a defensive weaponry, but there's much more to it as it can disturb the MAD equilibrium. Mutually assured destruction MAD, is a doctrine of military strategy and national security policy in which a full-scale use of nuclear weapons by two or more opposing sides would cause the complete annihilation of both the attacker and the defender. It's based on the theory of deterrence 
which holds that the threat of using strong weapons against the enemy prevents the enemy's use of those same weapons. The strategy is a form of Nash equilibrium, in which, once armed, neither side has any incentive to initiate a conflict or to disarm. A missile like Sarmat, which is specifically designed to defeat most advanced missile defenses, will ensure Russian nuclear deterrence remains credible. It's natural that Russia is going the extra distance to protect one of its most lethal assets. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.